Hey, Ralph here. And this is a uh, just a super quick little hangout on using the uh, the tar utility or the tape archiver. So let's go ahead and uh, just jump in and uh, get started here. So get my screen shared out here. All right. So looking at the the objectives here, the uh, specific uh, test objective that we're uh, talking about is uh, this one right here. There we go. So the archive, compress, unpack, and uncompress files using tar, star, gzip, and bzip2. So pretty straightforward here in terms of using the uh, utility. Let me go ahead and jump into one of my machines here. And let me go ahead and get a uh, interactive uh, sudo session going here. So obviously, uh, if you get hung up on anything. Uh, tar page for uh, man is very well documented. Tape archiver has been around forever. And really what we're going to look at here is just sort of creating archives, creating archives with uh, compression, uh, and then also extracting uh, archives using the, uh, the tar utility. So uh, first thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and create an archive. So really in terms of our, um, our options uh, that we're going to uh, look at here, we're going to look at the C to create. There's an X to extract, um, F to define the file. A lot of times you might want to do this with a V that will give you a verbose uh, output. Um, and then we'll also look at you know using our uh, different uh, compression. So things like uh, the Z and the J and things like that. But so I'm just going to create a uh, archive here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a directory uh, called tar and then Go ahead and go into that directory. So we got a nice clean directory to start with. And then I'm going to go ahead and say tar, uh -huh. create. Uh -huh. And I'm going to create, um, let's just do uh, Etsy. I'll do the contents of Etsy. Yeah, sure, why not? So what we want to do here is I'm going to go ahead and say create. And then my archive, etsy.tar. And then we're going to archive uh, the contents of the Etsy directory. All right. Now, I do want you to pay a little bit of attention to how long this takes to create. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter here. And you'll see basically it took, you know, seconds, maybe seconds for that to create. Now, if I do an LS, you'll see that I've got my, uh, my archive there. Um, now, if I say tar and then let's say PF on the uh, Etsy tar and that'll give me a listing of the contents uh, of that archive. Obviously I could pump that out to more or less. You'll see here that when it would create the archive, it said it was removing the leading slash. So when you extract these archives and things like that, by default, they're always going to be relative to whatever the current directory is. All right. So let's say that we want to use gzip compression. Okay. So if I say man tar, and then let's go ahead and search that on GZ. And you'll see minus Z uses GZIP compression. All right. So let's do the same thing we just did. So we're going to do tar minus create Z for compression, F. And then we're going to call this etsy.tar.gz. And again, we're going to go ahead and do the contents of the Etsy directory. So again, pay attention to how long uh, this takes. I'm going to go ahead and press enter now. And you'll see it took slightly longer, but not really significantly longer. And if I do an LS here, you'll see that I now have the Etsy.tar and the Etsy.tar.gz. Now, if we wanted to use bzip compression, so I'll go ahead and do a man tar again. And we're going to search this. So I'll do a slash and then a... Uh, BZ. So you'll see minus J uh, for BZIP or BZIP2 compression. Um, and then minus capital J, kind of look up there. So you got a minus cap J for XZ compression as well. So we're going to actually, I'm not going to go back into the man page for this, but we're going to actually do both. Okay. So I'm going to come back here and I'll say tar. Again, we're going to create. Okay. And we're going to use uh, bzip compression. So J, F, Etsy.tar.gz. Dot dot 
bz or bzip2. And then, again, we're going to do the Etsy directory. Now, again, pay attention how long this takes. So I'm going to go ahead and press Enter now. And you'll see this is taking a little bit longer. All right. Now, do the same thing one more time. Okay. We're going to create, uh, except we're going to do capital J, okay, for uh, XE. And then we're going to call this Etsy.tar. And actually, let's, let me go back in here for a second. So back on the tar man page, and then I'm going to search on minus cap J. C minus J is your XZ compression. Okay, so now this this type this isn't specifically mentioned on the objectives, but it is another uh, compression algorithm that we can use. So just don't get your cap J and your lowercase J uh, confused there. So um, go ahead and say tar minus C capital J F, and then Etsy dot tar. XZ compression, and then we'll say Etsy star. Now, again, pay attention to how long this takes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and press enter now, and you'll see that this is taking significantly longer. You know, when we use these different compression algorithms, you know, we're we're sacrificing performance, how fast it takes to compress or decompress the files for storage. Okay, and so as you can see, that took significantly longer. So now if we take a look at what our you know what our savings were I'm gonna do an LS minus L in human readable format here and take a look at what the output is of this directory you'll see there that if I look at the original archive the uncompressed archive and keep in mind these are ASCII they're mostly just text files so they're you know they support a high level of compression so when I did the archive without compression you'll see that it came out at 30 meg Okay, so that was no compression there, 30 meg. Now when I did gzip, which didn't cost me much from a performance standpoint, it occurred very quickly, I got eight and a half meg. Uh, when I did the bzip2, I got her all the way down to 7.1. And then when I did the XE compression, which took significantly longer, okay, it, as we, you know, it took a lot longer than the gzip and even then the bzip compression, but it took it all the way down to 5.7. Okay, so you'll see here that again, that's the sacrifice you would make. I get more compression, but you know there's a performance hit there in terms of how long it takes to uh, create the archive or you know to extract the archive. Now, um, in terms of extracting uh, an archive, you know tar uh, x and I'll do a verbose one this time. So xvf and then the etsy tar that'll extract the archive. Mm -hmm. And you'll see here, if I do an ls, that I now have a directory called Etsy. And if I did a ls on the Etsy directory, I would have a content, the contents of my Etsy directory out of that uh, particular uh, archive. Mm -hmm. So now you can run, you know, if I do a man gzip, I'll bring up the man page for gzip. gzip. So you can run gzips or bzip standalone uh, or gunzip for unzip. But most of the time when we're dealing with gzip or bzip compression in the context of archives will probably only need the uh, the tar command to do that so uh, again looking back at the you know the objectives archive compress unpack uncompressed files using tar star gzip and bzip2 you know, after that little demonstration you know go ahead and practice it uh, make sure that you know how to access the information you need from the uh, from the tar man page and you should be uh, good to go on that. So, told you it was a quick one, everybody. And, uh, you know, if you're watching this on Friday when I'm making it, have a great weekend. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you again soon.